Right. The question that you asked was... Do you regret your transformation? Do I forget... Do I, do I regret my transformation? From naughty to good, yeah? Yeah, in essence. Now, I ask you that question because... I'm... Can't hear you. No. Um, <laughs> because I'm... I'm without blowing my own trumpet I'm a goody two shoes yeah I never looked at you like that I'm, 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 I'm a goody two shoes and if this, let's iron this out I'm a goody two shoes because I personally and this, this question is about you but I just want to say this about me I'm a goody two shoes because being a goody two shoes has allowed me to get this far in life and probably will help me to go further in life. And I've seen people, whoever, male or female, uh, do bad things and then bad things happen to them and they suffer and all the rest of it. And I don't want to suffer. I don't like to suffer unnecessarily so and I was always taught do good things and good things will happen so I always try to do good things the question I was asking you is that by your own admission you were once a rebel and you have turned your life around at your own pace it wasn't a request of mine to turn you into a goody two shoes does that make sense what I'm saying I never said hey look you want to get with me you got to drop that drop that drop that and drop that also and also drop this person that person that person that person if you want to share a space with me I've never put that no me. you've never been right dictated you've never dictated my life in in any shape or form right. which is what then makes me pose that question do you regret your transformation because previously before I asked you that question it was like hey you know a couple of years ago you know I'd have gone around there and boof 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 <laughs> and over the back fence and you this and you that yeah I would have done I would have, I would have picked them grabbed them by their hair and knocked them out a few times yeah, yeah, yeah. you know because they, they going back to what, what, when you leave when you leave the area that you were raised and you meet people along the way that came back from that area it's almost like you're going backwards back to the same Yes. Circle of people that kept you there in the first place. Yeah. That you could participated, both of you, or all of you, participated in a world of community. Right. So your community was in the community, and your community was your next door neighbour or so, right? right? So, you, people were close. This mm. is why people have got to the point where they don't talk to neighbours anymore, because... Mm. Yeah, you're supposed to love their neighbour, but can you trust their neighbour, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's... When you go back to the people you once hung out with, mm -hmm. drinking and... You share some memories that obviously will never come out or whatever else, mm -hmm. but you, you, you have an experience with each other, etc. So you've got... You share memories, but when you go back and you, you miss a gap, so you know, as you brought up with them, you miss that gap. Yeah. And when you see people again, it's, oh, how are you? Yeah. But they have no idea what you're doing, no. who you are, mm -hmm. or what you do anymore, or even mm -hmm. all they ever say is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, how's your children? How many you got now? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, he's, he's, oh, just the memory of what they remember about you. They've mm -hmm. got nothing else to sort of identify you with, only what you, they once knew when you were sharing that time. Mm -hmm. So when you come away, mm -hmm. you haven't seen someone for years, mm -hmm. 
you, you, you change your life. Mm-hmm. Now, I could be where I was years ago and still partying and still being around certain people to have that party creating life with a drink mm-hmm. and, and things like that and gossip and I would always gossip and cuss people down and mm-hmm. and belittle them and didn't really care if I called them names mm-hmm. didn't care and if anybody was to approach me to for looking for an argument or a fight then it got to the point where how much time do you want to keep fighting because fighting's going to end up in down the nick or in prison mm-hmm. so You've had probation one time. The probation one time is because you didn't fight. And you were so distressed that you called for help. And because you were swearing, you got arrested for swearing. It wasn't seen as distress. So that's where I lost a little bit of faith in mm-hmm. in the people who are supposed to support you, right? But you stopped fighting back. Now, I could have, at that point, when that person struck me, I could have gone back to my roots and... Do what I was taught to do, mm-hmm. and to f- and, and 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 teach them a lesson. Mm-hmm. But I decided to let the authorities to do it mm-hmm. instead because that's what it's a way to be out of trouble if you do the right. Why didn't you tell someone? Mm-hmm. Okay, well I'm telling you now. Deal with it. Mm-hmm. So, and then it was every time I used to get involved, there was an incident. Certain police would be in the town, and they would always you. You're nothing but mm-hmm. trouble you are and things like that. And they would really be little you because they saw you the night before drunk, you know? And you were drunk, but you're cheeky drunk. That's the thing. I'm very cheeky. Um, where I'm critical with a sharp tongue. But it's a playful mode, but it, it's my play is I really mean it, though. That, you know? I could be saying something, but... I try and bring it off as a joke, but I actually really mean it. Mm-hmm. You're nasty or whatever else you want to be, you know, mm-hmm. however you are. Um, so, I didn't want to be on, I was on probation. I was not probation, it's community service. I didn't want community service, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't, that is probation, isn't it? Well, yeah, co- community service yeah. Is, is a... Well, you go through those procedures. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to ever go through things like that again. It's quite degrading, really. You know what I mean? I'm a parent, and I don't want my kids thinking that their mum's always in trouble and stuff, you know? But mum did try to do the right thing and not whack them back, because whacking bait people back, even if they do it to you, only lands you, who is the victim, into trouble. So it just... It, society taught me that... It don't matter if you're right. You're going to have to prove that you're right. You're going to have to prove. First of all, we're going to say that you're guilty. Mm-hmm. Well, you're guilty because you are guilty. And I believe you're guilty because of the colour of your skin. Mm-hmm. So let me get to the nitty gritty now. Mm-hmm. You're guilty. You can't be anything more than guilty because you're loud. Listen, I wasn't brought up. Like royalty. Mm -hmm. I was brought up in a loud atmosphere. I was brought up with a loud family. I was brought up with speakers. Mm -hmm. Giant speakers. Mm -hmm. So we got accustomed to over-talking music. Mm -hmm. So we got accustomed to being loud. Mm -hmm. That's what black people are known for, right? Being loud. And facey. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. But you know what? Society teaches you to know your place. Mm-hmm. What we teach ourselves, or I'm going to talk on behalf of myself, is to I have a place in this world. Mm-hmm. So although people, when you go along this journey, they're trying to push you out of their world, you fight for a place in this world. Mm-hmm. You then stand up and you try and demonstrate, I'm not dumb like you think I'm dumb. Mm-hmm. I'm not stupid like you think I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. You're telling people that this is not happening and it's happening. Mm-hmm. And then I have to go out my way 
and prove it. It really is happening. And then I've got tons and tons of witnesses to show that it really was happening. So it shows me discrimination in my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to think bad of people. Because I, I, I can't condemn the whole world. I can only condemn those that are dealing with me in my circle. So when I saw written content about me, in the way I defend accusations, mm. there are mean words written about me, mm. like she's throwing a tantrum. Or she was loud, or she was abusive, or she was this and she was that. Because they're not accustomed to the lingo. They're not accustomed to the, when I stopped and I go into my dad's language, you know what I mean? They're not accustomed to, to that. well that's a mixed race for you, isn't it? It's about changing the lingo of what you're accustomed to. You know how to cuss because your parents taught you how to cuss. And that comes out in a different language. So I stopped cussing much, you see. Mm. I started thinking it's too draining. This All this defending myself is draining. Mm. So I uh, eliminated people that always look for an argument. Ain't got nothing better to do than try and keep you back in the same circle that you're trying to run from. So I walked away from the people that gossip, belittle other people, talk nasty, are foul-mouthed, are, are vengeful on others. I walked away from people like that. That's what I walked away from. It's almost like When people join gangs, mm -hmm. they join a circle of like-minded people, mm -hmm. people they affiliated to cussing with, drinking with, smoking with, having drugs with, all of those things. They form that kind of life because normal life of settling down your four walls, cooking your dinner, getting on with a career or something like that is not beneficial. It's too much safe zone. Too much hard work and it's very safe. Those people that go to work, they're dealing with people at work. They have problems at work because they've got to have relationships with people at work. And when work, work is the most prominent place to, for people to feel like crap because mm -hmm. they can't say nothing. Yeah. So, in your home life, mm -hmm. changing my home life was because I don't want no trouble. I just want a peaceful life. I don't want no trouble. I'm fed up of having to justify who, my rights in this world, should I say, my rights in this world. Fed up having to justify why I should have a business. I mean, it's, it's I watch Mangrove, right? Brilliant, absolutely Mangrove. True story, yeah, we're harassment. Now, this is the same how I feel here, very similar. I have dropped the bad behaviours and become a little bit of a goody-two-shoes myself. Mm -hmm. And in becoming a goody-two-shoes in myself, people will either recognise the change, want to be the change that I am, that they're seeing, mm -hmm. but they can't handle it. So they try to belittle me back down mm -hmm. to a place where they are, mm -hmm. where they're not doing anything with their life. Mm -hmm. They're not inspiring anyone with their life. They're still mm -hmm. gossiping about people. Mm -hmm. And I've witnessed that myself. Mm -hmm. So therefore, at the end of the day, if they're still gossiping about people, I don't need to be in that circle like that. Mm -hmm. Because it puts you back into that school playground mode. That's not a peaceful life. That's handbags, mate. Mm -hmm. It is purely handbags. Mm -hmm. And these people were just going to drag you down if you stay in the same circle. So stay focused. Being a goody two-shoes, yes, it's very bloody hard. Do I like the transformation? Of course I like the transformation. I'm a very empowered woman. 
I'm very, very powerful woman. If I did not transform, I probably would have, with the amount of things that people have done to me, with the attacks that I've had on me personally, I've had to maintain my silence and obedience to the law and not take it into my own hands. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the law taught you not to do. Mm -hmm. Because if you did, there's a consequences to that. That's probation, worse still, prison. Mm -hmm. That's what I was avoiding. When you're behind a judge for minor things or things that you've done, you don't want to go back to that world. But it's a world that even though you stand there and say, this is what happened, they don't believe you. They don't want to believe you. They don't want to look into something else. You're just bloody guilty, full stop. Meanwhile, the girl that hit me, which was the root of it, mm -hmm. where was she? Nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. The people that start the shit are never where they like, disappear mm -hmm. and leave you with the baggage mm -hmm. and even with the to, to answer to law. Mm -hmm. So, no. I don't want that life, be around those people. Being a goody two-shoes, I don't mind that, you know. It's, it keeps me out of, um, out of the clutches of police. It, keep, it empowers me to, for my rights. Um, it keeps me safe knowing my rights and how to act politically correct when I need to act politically correct. And it also shows that, you know what, there is, have some faith in the justice system. Maybe there isn't, for some people, depends how you act, mm -hmm. or yet again, and how you project the messages across. But so far, when people have done me wrong, even though I didn't believe in these people before, mm -hmm. I still have to try to do the right thing by myself, and that is to report shit sometimes. Yes. Then I can say, well, at least I reported to you. If you didn't do anything about it, that's up to you, but mm -hmm. I reported to it, yeah. but I won't be a sitting duck. Okay, so I'll hand it to you and I'm going to get on with my life and going to close that chapter. Mm -hmm. If anyone comes back by the time I've handed it to you, because they're going to have a deal with you then, isn't they? Mm -hmm. Not me. So I've learned to offload that now, you know? So, but no, no, I've decided. Being a goody two shoes is very difficult to maintain that anger within, mm -hmm. to not fight back. Extremely difficult. And when you're surrounded by bullies, Sometimes you do want to teach them a lesson. Yeah. But still, it's what you do with the anger. One slip, one wrong mood, mm. one wrong move could... You don't aim to hurt someone, do you? Uh, you? All right, you want to hurt them. But people can end up dead by a wrong punch or by the wrong hit or the wrong move or the wrong slip. If, do I want that on my head? Never. That's why I decide to do the right thing in life rather than wrong. And anyone that's been a bully to me, then I will make sure that I teach them a lesson in an educational way, mm -hmm. okay? One that, that is a legal way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is very tough trying to be nice when I would like to just go pretty, pretty much on Facebook and say, look, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would like to literally do that mm -hmm. and hail them out, mm -hmm. as you say. Hail them out. Mm -hmm. But I made an agreement to not name and not shame people. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stick by my roles because when you name and shame, it can get you into trouble. Mm -hmm. So you are allowed to talk. But people just have to play the guessing game. Mm -hmm. And if the shoe fits, let them wear it. Remember that song? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. So that's my yeah. testimony over there yeah, about that's, that. That's why I asked the question, you know, just... I'm, because, you know... I'm sick of, ta sick of tired of being attacked. I'm sick of it. You see that I'm being attacked, but you see, I don't always put it down to the people. I put it down that I'm doing... I'm doing... work of, of faith, you know? Okay, I'm yeah, doing work of yeah, faith. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. when you're doing work of faith, they always say that, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're on the right path, that they come thick and fast, and they've been coming thick and fast... But the process of elimination is becoming such more simplified for me. You know, bye, ping, you're gone. And I'm I'm good. 
is very much simplified. When you know the truth, when you stand in your truth, and you, you know I'm telling the truth, mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, I have evidence, evidence mm -hmm. to always prove my truth. Yep. You need that. Then at the end of the day, I ain't that. looking over my shoulder. That's right. And I think that's the good part. Being truthful means you don't have to look over your shoulder. That's, right. that's what I like about it.